Hey everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here with another process video using my Scrap Room Double Shot Kit, the Magical Adventure line from Echo Park Paper. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take this very old chipboard piece and use my dazzlers to give it kind of an updated look. This is, I believe it's called See You in the Morning, but I could be totally wrong about that. I'm at first going to try to be very delicate and get it all on, but I'm going to realize that's not going to work, so I'm going to go to just the throwing it all on there. I am going to cut away from this because all you're going to see is me covering this up and then waiting for it to dry. Now, Dazzlers can take longer to dry than your average texture paste, but you can hit them with a heat tool, unlike other texture pastes. I did not do that for this one simply because I was using so much. Because what you'll see me doing here is whacking it with my little tool so I can give it kind of a water look to it. So while that's drying, I go ahead and move it on to my actual paper layout. And as I said, I'm using the Magical Adventure line from Echo Park Paper. And I had cut out the piece that has that diagonal stripe on it. I had used the inside part of that on a previous layout, but knowing my love of a diagonal stripe, I went ahead and gutted it first, knowing I would definitely want to use that in a later layout, which is this one. Now, because this is technically a non-licensed Disney-themed uh, line of paper, I did two layouts with this from Walt Disney World, but I wanted to do another layout where I was not using Disney photos. What I'm using are cruise ship photos, and I think it works perfectly. So I'm placing those letters that spell out fun there just kind of to remind me what size I have that's going to go in that lower right-hand corner so I don't accidentally put stuff there that I obviously don't want covered up. I do take this strip of photos photos. They're not photos, they're cameras. The things that make the photos. Hello! And I'm going to use that to span across the two pieces of paper here, the one pattern paper and then the piece of dark red cardstock. And I'm just going to take some washi tape and tape up the back just so when I put it in my album or in my page protectors, I don't accidentally uh, rip it or something like that. And once I get that done, I'm going to go ahead and take this row of cameras and just place it right across where those two papers meet. I'm putting the word fun back in, just like I said before, so I don't put things there at, that will end up being covered up later by my embellishment piece. It's actually part of my title. And now I'm just looking for my pattern paper to go ahead and I'm going to use that to fill in where the holes are in that circular piece. And I want to make sure my diagonal stripes are going in the same direction because that's like one of my pet peeves, like personally, that I like things to go in the same direction. And that's just a quirk, whatever. So I'm going to fill those in and I'm just making sure I know that because my photos are pretty simple, they're just of cruise ships. Well, one cruise ship that I took several photos of. I am able to use several different pattern papers because there's so much blue surrounding my photos. They're not super busy photos and there aren't people in them. So I'm able to use a multitude of pattern papers and it does, well, yes, it does look busy. It doesn't look crazy busy. Uh, this cardstock that I'm bordering this photo in is quite dark. So I had to turn off the lights I have on my, to, uh, focused on my desk in order to be able to see it, to cut it so that it was even. And now here comes a huge apology. I either accidentally deleted the second half of this video or I somehow didn't record it at all, so I'd like to apologize. I did want to share it because I love the way the title turned out, so I just put some photo, I put a still photo at the end that shows what I did. So we're just going to continue on and then I'll describe what I did afterwards. I used that banner sticker from that came with my double shot kit and now my dazzlers are dry so I'm going to take these pattern papers and back 
this with it oh I just turned out so cute it looks so much like the Caribbean water I was so excited that this worked out as well as I hoped it would. I'm just going to attach those papers together so they don't move with washi tape and then I am going to glue it down and Zancy's going to join us for a bit as I add this tag to the back of my photo and that is all I got people. I am so sorry. Let's talk about what I did. In the middle left hand side I've got that camera sticker and I added an epoxy sticker to that. There's a sticker and a puffy sticker on top of the tag I added to that photo and then I used for the beginning of my title the imprint thickers which are black with a thin gold stripe along with a little wood veneer arrow so my entire title is cruise ship fun oh yeah that oh yeah is another wood veneer that I spritzed with Jenny B blue mist by shimmers down beneath the oh yeah there's a big camera photo that came from that sticker pack from the magical adventures kit and then there's also some wood veneer, some puffy stickers, and some epoxy stickers. In the upper right hand corner, I've got some more epoxy stickers and some puffy stickers. That is it for me today. I'm sorry again. Have a great day, everyone. Flick me a thumbs up. Bye!